Morning everyone, it's Mrs Haley. Uh, so in PSHE for the next three weeks, we're going to be looking at identity, human rights and society. And so today's learning objective is to learn about people who've moved from other places, and that's including the experiences of refugees. So before we start the main part of the lesson, what I'd like you to do is just to think about the questions that's in the centre of the globe. So why do people move countries? So just brainstorm any ideas that you might have as to why people leave the country or the place that they live and move to a different country or place. What might the reasons be? If you can think of one or two, great. If you can think of more than that, brilliant. If you can't think of any, don't worry too much. This is just to give us an idea about what you do know. And then at the end of the topic, we will do it again and we will see then what you've learnt. So by the end of today's lessons, uh, you should hopefully understand what migration means and when people migrate. You'll be able to identify the reasons why people move from one place to another and you're able to empathise. So that means to show feeling and to understand the experiences and the challenges and moving and settling into a new place might bring for those people. So what does it mean to migrate? So you may have heard the term migrate before. You may have heard it relating to animals. Often we think about it with birds, for example, who may fly from um, a cold country to a warmer country for the winter period. But today's lesson, when we're looking at the term migrate or migration, we're thinking about people from other places, other countries. So migration is the movement of people from one place to another. That's what it means in, a, in simple terms. There are lots of reasons though why people might migrate to different places. Uh, sometimes it might be because they may have better job opportunities. So it may be a job promotion or an opportunity to have a better lifestyle or to earn more money. Sometimes though it may be that they're escaping war or political conflicts. So two political parties that don't agree with one another and then fighting and things can result from that and making the country a not very nice place to live in. But with that, there is still an element of choice. They're not being forced out of their country. They are choosing to move to migrate because they don't like what's happening in their country. They don't like that the war is maybe taking over or they don't like the, the politics of that country. But it's still a choice that they are making. So what then is a refugee? So the definition of a refugee is a person who has been forced to leave their country in order to escape war, persecution or natural disaster. So persecution is where um, one person sort of unfairly or cruelly treats another person because of usually their religious beliefs or their race or their political beliefs. And that persecution can be, you know, it can be very extreme. So you're not necessarily just talking about somebody making unkind comments. It could be physical violence. It could be emotional violence, all those kinds of things. So it's, it's a very scary place to be when you are being persecuted for something that you believe. And natural disasters are things like earthquakes, hurricanes, tsunamis, that kind of thing where uh, houses may be completely demolished, um, villages, towns completely wiped out, nothing left there so they have no other choice but to leave that country. That's the, the difference. So what are the differences then between migrants and refugees? So on the previous two slides we looked at what a migrant is and what a refugee is. And I think the main difference really that comes through is choice, because quite simply speaking, a migrant is someone who chooses to move. They might not necessarily want to, it, you know, it may be that they really love their country, but the, the political conflict that's going on there is just creating too many problems for them. So they've got to take that decision that actually if they want a better life that they need to move, but they could still choose to stay if they wanted to. Whereas a refugee is someone who has been forced to move from their home. 
So like we, we spoke about on the last slide, it could be due to a natural disaster. So they've actually got nowhere to live. They've got no in infrastructure. So they've got uh, no hospitals, no doctors, no shops. They've got they've got nothing there anymore. So they have no choice but to leave. Um, and often it's to do with war as well, where um, complete towns and, and cities are destroyed and they are uh, in fear of their lives. So they have no other choice but to, to move and to try to seek safety in another country or in another place. So the main difference really is choice. So if you click on the link, don't click on the play button, click on the actual words um, for the link and you'll be able to view a video. It's, um, it's quite a, a sad video and there are some things in there that you know, are, are very upsetting, but it's about a family who've had to flee Palestine because of war and uh, because of fighting. And it's about their journey and what happened on their journey. So after watching the video on the previous slide, I want you to think about how do you think that family felt about leaving their home, about leaving everything they knew. So I want you to just have a think first of all, and then maybe list some ideas down, just jot them down on a piece of paper. And then if you click on the right hand arrow, you'll then see some ideas that I put down. So this time I'd like you uh, to watch a second video. This one is a little bit different. Uh, it's about two children who both fled uh, war in their home country and they are now living as refugees in England and they've been here for a few years and they talk about sort of how they overcame boundaries such as things like language barriers and also how a buddy scheme at school helped them to fit in and to make friends quickly. And whilst you're watching it, I'd just like you to consider what things maybe you could do to make a refugee feel welcome in your school or in your local area? So just as a closing activity then, after watching that video, I'd like you to think about if a refugee child or a family arrived at Blackgates or arrived in your local area, I want you to think about and list some of the things that you could do to help them to help them settle, to help them uh, make them feel welcome, to help them make friends. What could you actually do? So don't just list me things that you would like to see so that they made friends, that they learnt the language. L tell me, list for me, what you would do to help them. So if you wanted to help them learn English, what would you do? Would you read with them? Would you listen to them? Would you do words with them? Would you do sounds with them? How would you help them be a good friend? How could you introduce them? Because bear in mind, they've come from a completely different country. They won't know our language. They won't necessarily know how we do things in this country. So how could you help them to do that, to make them feel welcome? Because what we're trying to think about is that those refugees have been through a lot, have been through different traumas. It may be to do with wars. It may be to do with uh, political unrest, those kinds of things. But the reason they have fled their country is because of fear. They are fearing for their safety and fearing for their lives. So how could you make them feel welcome?